Die Fucker! Propane, uh, welcome to Slovenia once again. How are you guys doing? Doing great, thank you very much. Uh, nice to see you and of course congratulate you on your 25th anniversary of yep. propane in the world. That's right. Uh, when you started the band, did you ever think that it would reach this milestone of 25 years as a quarter of a century? No, I had no idea. You know, it's, it's tough to uh, predict such things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as you could imagine. Yeah. And uh, I just never really set a time limit on the band, you know. Um, Never in my wildest dreams would I think that the band would still be around 25 years later. But um, here we are. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty pretty cool. Okay, um, you you released lots of albums. You had tons of concerts, tours all over the world. And of course you're the only original soul member and uh, you have a kind of a new lineup now. Yeah. Uh, not all of the guys are new, but still could you present the, the current lineup of Propane? Well, this is Adam Phillips. Uh, he's been with us since 2011. We have uh, on our on rhythm guitar we have Marshall Stevens. He's been with us since I believe 2008. And uh, Jonas Sanders on drums, um, who's been with us since 2011. Mm -hmm. So this particular lineup has been together for three records: mm -hmm. Straight to the Dome, The Final Revolution, and Voice of Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are pretty consistent in releasing records which always sound uh, true, which always become like kind of instant classics which always seem relevant con considering that Propane is a band that reflects the state of the world today. Uh, is, is it only, uh, the only in, uh, in uh, let's say, in brackets, I, is it the, the fact that this world is in so much turmoil that drives you guys to release so much records or is there just uh, a lot of fresh ideas for you to come up with? Well, it's, it's, I think it's, it's ironic, you know, the, the the, the more insane the world becomes, the more relevant a band like Propane is, because that's basically what our material consists of, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we, we, I just sing the subject matter with a, a certain urgency, and, um, and it works, so there's, there's really no shortage of, of things to sing about, you know. Um, and when, as the, the world gets more fucked up, I think, you know, Propane gets more and more effective as a band. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the fans say, yeah, I can really identify with this. Things are crazy out there. You know, they can sort of rally behind our cause a little bit. I remember you guys, when you started with, the, with, with this mi mixture of uh, metal and hardcore, which already started with Crumb Suckers before Propane, yeah. Yeah. and of course continued in the 90s. Um, I know that it was a, a really like a, a fresh and a big and a powerful thing in the 90s. Yeah. How did you manage uh, to keep this sound still interesting now, considering that lots of people today expect from bands to play million notes per minute, to, to, to make so much, I don't know, cacophony or noise, uh, yeah. just, just to keep satisfied the, I guess the people with a lot of attention deficit disorder, not, not to be disrespectful to any other bands in the world. Sure, still. of course. I, I think it's important for a, a band to um, s stick to um, what they know, what they, to what they do best. You know, so we don't we don't enter genres of other bands because we might be entering a place where other bands do it significantly better than we do. Mm -hmm. So, but, but we know that in terms of what we do, that we do it very well, and we like to operate within the confines of that particular box. And. Um, which happens to be a crossover style, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it started, you know, with bands like Prom Suckers, you know, my original band, and um, so I have a history playing this kind of music and having some some groove, some metal influence, some hardcore influence, and some some thrash, mm -hmm. and maybe even um, some classic rock in there in terms of the guitar solos and stuff like that. And uh, that that became like my forte, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm still playing it. It's a, it, it's Propane is a bit different than Crumb Suckers. It's not as quite as technical. Of course. Um, but I think if there's a band that you could compare it to in terms of its identifiable qualities, it would be the Crumb Suckers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, for you, considering that you're, uh, it seems like you're a uh, younger member, uh, if, you, if you compare it to Gary, how was it to approach the Propane writing style? Uh, 
and to of course incorporate your ideas into the music. Um, I knew going into it that I had to write within the confines of the box, like Gary was talking about. I can't write, I can't, you know, I can't write something that sounds like a different band and have it pass go. You know, that's not that's that's not what I wanted to do anyway. It's I, I I mean this band this, this is the band I want to write for. So I had to kind of take my style and put the propane spin on it, or vice versa, take propane style and put my spin on it, and I had to find the right balance. And um, I think it, 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 I don't really want to say it took me a few tries to get it, but I can hear the difference between something I wrote uh, on the first album uh, that I was on, Straight to Dome, as opposed to something that I wrote for the final, uh, for uh, The Voice of Rebellion, which is the, the latest record that we wrote. So I can hear the difference, and um, uh, but yeah, approaching that stuff, I, uh, I just had to just go for it, you know. I'm gonna mm -hmm. write a riff and, and let's see what ha what comes of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turned out to, to be okay. <laughs> so what was it? I, I know that Marshall is not here uh, to to participate in the interview, but uh, would you could you answer if uh, was it hard for you guys to kind of continue the legacy that uh, Tom Klimchuk already started and before that and of course other guitarists? Well, I mean, as I can speak for myself, it was big shoes to fill. And uh, I remember learning the solos uh, that Tom had written and thinking, damn it, why is Tom good? <laughs> I had so much work cut out for me already. You know, I, I think they gave me 35 songs or something to learn. And uh, I, I did it in eight days. I even called, I think I, yeah, I, I just wow. blocked out eight days and said, everybody leave me alone for eight days. I'm going to learn it all. And then I had to learn the solos. And then I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> and, um, it's, it was big shoes to fill, man, and, uh, you know, always give respect to somebody who has tenure over you. And uh, with Marshall, he and I have been uh, playing music together for over 10 years. So we already kind of have the chemistry together, and uh, we, we know each other's next move, you know. So it's not so difficult for us to, to write together, or to play together on stage, and what have you. Okay, uh, you uh, all of you guys come from New York, or um, no, just Gary and I. Mm -hmm. The others, uh, Marshall comes from Louisiana, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Jonas from Brussels, Belgium. Ah, okay. And you? I'm from New York also. Okay, yeah. so uh, if we take three parts, so let's say three American parts, both of you uh, from New York and one from Louisiana, uh, both of these places are known for its strong group uh, so that's uh, that's what makes it kind of easier for propane right uh, now to I think so I think um, you know where you come from certainly adds a lot to uh, your style mm -hmm. you know, who you are and, and what, what kind of music you play mm -hmm. and, um, and you know Adam being from New York we have a lot of the same just as much of the same musical background as we have differences in things, in styles of music that we enjoy. Um, but it's an interesting mix. I mean, each lineup brings something special to, to the table. Mm -hmm. Do you also think that uh, that is what keeps propane fresh in a way? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you can you can see lineup changes uh, two ways. You can see them as being a negative thing because. You know, it's a changing of the guard, or, or you can see it as a positive thing, and that there are some new influences coming to the table, new fresh blood, mm -hmm. and um, it could be good, good and bad, depending on the situation, depending on the person. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, we we really kind of struck gold, you know, with this particular lineup. We made three great records together, in my opinion. And uh, the band's having fun on stage. I think it, it shows. You know, we yeah, that was definitely uh, we, uh, evident today. When yeah, we give off a good vibe. It's a good, a good spirit, you know. And I think it transcends into the into the crowd. Okay, and uh, one of the last questions. Uh, considering that Propane is uh, really uh, also a band that can that can speak to individual because of its view of the world or the criticism or an analysis, for a better word. Uh, do you think uh, uh, you could gain some enemies in today's, let's say, US soil, considering there is a lot of, it seems when one from Europe sees what's going on, there is a lot of dividing between who's for uh, this side of politics, who's really pro-American, who is yeah, really somewhere yeah. in between. Yeah, of course, I mean, when you, 
you sing about uh, anything that's controversial, you run the risk of uh, missing off half of your audience. Mm -hmm. But um, and then you have to decide uh, whether or not you want to take that chance. Mm -hmm. And with me, I've never had a problem doing it mm -hmm. because I, at the end of the day, I'm, I have to be an artist. I have to be true to what I'm all about. And you know, hopefully that hopefully people that feel the way I do will come along for the ride and support the band. And, uh, we, we, we never, it's not, we've never been a band that forces an agenda on anybody. You know, we just uh, throw out a bunch of uh, topics in order to induce discussion and, uh, and strong opinions about certain things, which I think is, is healthy. How do you avoid this, uh, uh, let's say, how do you avoid this role of being a preacher on the stage or uh, to just put uh, things to discuss about? Well, I, you know, as a fan, I've never really, I never enjoyed the bands that get up on stage and try to tell people how to live, you know, and try to tell them what to believe in. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I never liked that as a fan, and I never wanted to do that. You know, I, I just write my lyrics the, the way, from, from my heart and from my soul and from what I've learned and, and everything else. Um, but I never want to preach to people on the stage, so it's, when you go down the stage, it's just about the music. And, uh, for the fans to enjoy the moment. Okay, um, before we finish this interview, uh, what uh, is the future preparing for Propane? Well, we have uh, we have some Russian shows in November. We have to finish up this tour first. Um, this ends on the 14th of August uh, in Belgium. And then uh, we're going to go to Russia in November for a few shows. And then uh, we'll start another uh, headlining European tour in December. And following that, I think we're going to write a new record, which uh, we're hoping to release in the fall of 2017. Um, and any last uh, messages for Propane fans worldwide? Oh, well, uh, thanks for the 25 years of support. Uh, we want to thank all the fans that came out to uh, Metal Days today. We had a great time. We hope everybody else did also. And uh, we'll see you next time here in Slovenia. Thanks a lot. Great. So if you're caught for me, it's best to come correct.